Hello and welcome to Rick's Kits. This is uh, my buddy build starting today, the 26th of September 2024, with Al Woods modelling mayhem. This is to commemorate um, the 80th anniversary of the Corsairs. Landing on the airfield at Pelalu um, in September of 1944 on this day. And Corsairs were Marines, because the Marines were, f were fighting on Pelalu against the uh, Imperial Japanese Army. And from there they helped to bomb strategic targets that were needed to help advance the battle and to win over the island so this is what we're doing we're doing the chance f4u1 or the f4u2 birdcage corsair uh, it's 148 scale and we will be doing well i will i know i'm doing the this first i think it was this version of the marine no this is the night fighter version of the marines um, I'm going to be doing the daytime fighter of the Marines, which is this one down here on the bottom. Now, it's not the correct VMF number for the Marines that landed on the Estra at Peleliu. This is 213, and I think the VMF was VMF 14. And, uh, happy build. I will uh, get back to you when I've uh, got something a bit more to show you. Bye for now. Okay, here I am with an update on this F4U1 Birdcage Corsair buddy build with my good friend Al Wood from Al Wood's Modeling Mayhem. Don't forget people to go and check out Al's panel for his version of this buddy build. Currently, at this moment in time, I have. Uh, will I get it in focus or not? Is another matter. Probably won't focus at all. Turn the light in here for a sec. There we go. So we got the cockpit in. I'm trying not to put my fingers up this end too much because that decals settling down. Uh, we've given it a bit of weathering. Put the decal in for the seat belt. And the other decal over the back there below the rest. Uh, we painted it in their recommendation of, of green. And put a bit of wear and tear on the old uh, pedals and stuff down the bottom there and the seat. Just to, just to give it a little bit of... Uh, But with the look, they do get beaten up a bit. Uh, this is the wing root section. Um, I've just put a bit of painting on the inside there, put the glazing in, and then um, masked it out. Uh, getting the wheel wheels sorted out. And then I'm doing a little bit on the engine. Uh, putting some wiring on the engine. My um, thesis on this is, if you can see it, you can detail it or paint it. It's hidden. There's, there's no point. 
and that's how that's how I look at it. So a lot of a lot of stuff of mine doesn't generally get painted or stuff like that. So with that, let's put that in the cowling. So get her up close. There you go. So as far as I can, as far as I look at this, when I look at it head on, I cannot see the bank of the the rotary bank at the back. So it won't be wired. Uh, I've got wire, a few extra wires to put in on the front. Another nine wires to put in on the front for the second lot of wiring. Um, and that's about all I did. I think I've done that on my um, my Thunderbolt. So yeah, my principle is if if you really can't see it, then you don't. I don't bother painting it. The same with the tanks. You're not looking on the bottom of my tank, my tank ain't painted. So, that's it. That's all I've got for the most moment in time. Um, Got to go to work, so I can't do much more. Uh, Check out Al, please, for for his version of this lovely kit. And uh, I'll be back with an update over the weekend. Thank you for watching. Thank you to my subscribers. Thank you to all my new subscribers. I really do appreciate you people. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.